I don't know how this is going to work. Let's just, let's get it started and see. I'm pretty sure it's me and Chad's champions against the spiders. Ha 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 ha. You don't need a tutorial, right, Chad? So you got trapped while trying to steal my treasure. I guess that's eh? true. The it is the Egg Boys versus the Queen's Secret Kids. Laverne Kemmer, <laughs> the only witch preventing you from being stuck permanently punished for your pilfering. And what should I call you? We're the Egg Boys. And named. So here's how it'll go. Each of you will Skip be tutorials. Fine. We won't take the scenic route into the abyss. All right, chat. So I'm relying on you. We got a sample of 10 representative people from fries. chat. Okay, the best fries. I'm going to tell you, because you don't see it on screen right now. Sweet potato, crinkle cut, cheese covered, wedges, shoestring, waffle, standard cut, cottage fries. Okay. In my opinion, the best fry is a waffle. They don't have a curly, which is blowing me, man. Blow me away, I mean. Um, I, I got to say a waffle is number one. I would honestly take a standard number two, and I'm, I'm going sweet potato number three. And I get that that's not common. Um, I might be a little bit out of the pocket on that one. I love a waffle fry. I love a standard cut. I love a sweet potato. I think that I, I thought that I don't like crinkle cut french fries. Um, but I think it's only because every crinkle cut french fry I had until I was like 22 were just awful McCain... Uh, crinkle cut fries, like, overcooked in the oven. I've had them a couple times at restaurants. I've been like, actually, these, these can be pretty good. Um, and then, the, the thing with cheese fries, I don't mean to insult them, but, uh, we, this is taking oh, way too long. We gotta change, change the timer. The time <laughs> I, I can't banter about french fries for this long. And yet I've done it for ten years. Che cheese fries, they suffer from being... Uh, the inferior poutine. It's, it's, it's that. It's basically that. The end. Waffle number one. You a psycho? Dude, a waffle fry is great. Because the surface area is so high. Like, there's so many nucleation points for, for crispiness to get generated. I love a waffle fry. I, I'll be honest. I would have put curly above sweet potato. Sweet potato fries, I, I still think there's innovations to be done in the sweet potato fry environment. Because whenever you buy sweet potato fries, like two thirds of them are good. One sixth of them are burned beyond belief. And one sixth of them are basically raw. No and yet they were all cooked for the same amount of time. Like it's just different parts of the sweet potato, even when cut to the, the same thickness are all like, they, they have a different density to them somehow. All right. Thanks for the french fry conversation. I appreciate it. Excellent. Now the real work begins. Yes. Okay. All right. So chat, we're going to have to pick the top three answers here. I don't know if we start. I do. I think normal fries are underrated. I'm not trying to say they're not. Okay. I'll tell you right off the bat, chat. When we're talking about best fries, do you trust me? Do you trust your streamer? There's no doubt. As, as much as I put waffle number one, standard cut is, is guaranteed to be top three. Instantaneous. Good answer. Good answer. That was second. Okay. All right. Now the audience gets to choose. Oh, they all got to vote together. Oh, my God. It's going to take 90 seconds. This round is actually going to be uh, probably like an hour long. And you know what? I'm settling in. We will, in, in, in the next round, if we do another one, we will adjust the timer. Restart while it's still early. I got to know, man. I got to know. Plus, I can't. I can't. The 10 people who got in the game, I can't take their attempt away. We'll just, we'll just keep the spitballing going. I love, by the way, people are like, Dan shirt. Why are you wearing a Dan shirt? Oh, I didn't realize this was a Dan shirt. My bad. I didn't realize that even if the shirt has like my branding on it, it's uh, it's Dan's because it's red. I guess Dan owns like the Nike Corporation as well. I do wear a lot of black shirts. That's true. 
You're not joking. <laughs> all right. So, I mean, like, there's 924 people all trying to collude here, right? I think... I think Waffle's a lock for top three. And just to be honest, I don't know... I don't know what the what the the third one will be. I think I, if I had to guess, I would guess cheese covered. I think cottage will be last because no one knows what it is. Well, Waffle. Well, well done. First place. Okay. Now I want J ship. You can do whatever you want. You're in control, all right? You have an undue amount of influence. Obviously, we're not able to collude too much. I encourage you to just choose whatever you feel is the best. I will not be mad no matter what. Unless, if you take Cottage, it's a throw. Like, that's that's the one thing I'll say. Anything else, I think, realistically could be up here. I, I love Wedges. Like, they very narrowly... Okay, I, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair ask. I'm not upset. I, I mean, that was my number three. How could I be upset? And it came in fourth. For being wrong, that's as close to right as you can be. I'm not mad. I think chat's overrating wedges. I like them, but they have the same sweet potato problem, but amplified. Some wedges are perfect. Some wedges are like hard as a, a, a rock. And then some wedges, when you bite in, it's like the potato is still growing. Like, it's not even close to being harvested, much less cooked. I love a wedge. Don't get me wrong. Man, Malf, you remember 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Australia? McDonald's introduced McDonald's potato wedges. Those were delicious, man. I, I, I ate more wedges then than I ate in my entire life, to be honest. I like the wedge lottery. I'm sorry, I was torn between that and shoestring. No, no, I don't know if you're listening, but uh, you, you got no apology necessary. I, I Sweet potato was a, a completely salient guess. Nothing wrong with that. I just, I, I mean, this is a, number three is a tough one, man. I, uh, I still think number three is going to be cheese covered. I think that they sound better than they taste but I think that they sound good enough to get to number three all right let's see I mean it cottage is eight wedges wow okay chat well done the results all result in success cottage last shoestring seventh wow well done. All right, Egg Boys, we got to get some torches back on the next one. I mean, it just goes to show you one wrong answer creates this situation. Like, it's a ruthless game, man. Okay, we got to rank four choices. Which of these made-up ailments would be the worst to get? Okay, I'm going to read these out for you here. Rubber knees, loud blinking, ugly teeth. What do you mean made up? Vibrating toes, musical cough. Puppet fingers, extra wet saliva, or non-stop butt? Um, okay. F which of these would be the worst? I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like... Puppet fingers seems really bad. I don't know what that means. I, I, I think your fingers start talking. Um... Loud blinking sounds really annoying. I'm also going to say ugly teeth and rubber knees. Like, I feel like, although rubber knees could be kind of sweet, right? Can you imagine, like, if you were playing basketball and you just, like, jumped up in the air and landed right on your kneecap and then used that as, like, leverage to get a dunk? That'd be kind of sick, but... All right. Time's half up. The Loud blinking would be the worst, though, because you would be like, you know, you'd be just trying to get to sleep, and then it would be like, <laughs> like it's one of those things you wouldn't notice, and but when you noticed it, you you couldn't stop fixating on it. 
You sleep while blinking? Just close your eyes? That's a good point. I hadn't considered that. It's <laughs> a very good point. <laughs> I mean, everyone's talking about how long the timer is. We genuinely might just lose on the streamer side. Right here. All we need to do is get one wrong, and then if Chad gets it right, I think we, we lose. I'm actually now realizing, like, how... Doesn't Chad have, like, an enormous advantage in this one? Because, like, they are ranking everything. Another cavern away. If they just bet on the thing that they ranked, for this isn't round, it impossible for the them to get ranked. it wrong? Two, three, and four. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. All right. Paracapal. What is, we need two, three, and four, so we don't need number one. Feel free. I, again, I will not be upset. Non-stop butt? I think that might be... I think that might be a lethal. I'm not... That was the only one I'm mad about. Because <laughs> I thought that one was obvious. <laughs> I'm still... I'm not mad, but that's the one... That was like when, when Justin was trying to tell me like he, if he could outsource any chore, it would be driving. And I was like, come on, man. Driving, driving is actually fun. They make like whole video games about it. I guess they make video games about like doing your taxes, but those are, they're made by Zachtronics. I was laughing because like it, everybody had their strength in uh, pole mine and everybody had their blind spots. Like, when it came to chores, I think I had the exact ranking in my head. When it came to people's sexiest, I was lost, but Chib was found. I had no... Robert had Billy Joel, like, locked up. Loud blinking. That's gonna be up there. I think we just got KO'd. Nope. Never mind. Still going. Worst made up ailments. You can pick whatever you want, by the way. I don't want to... I don't want to influence your decision too much. But I will tell you privately, Chad. I think that number three and number four are going to be Ugly teeth and rub. I was gonna say rubber knees. Let's go. I'm, I'm thinking it's ugly teeth. I don't want to give him the answer though. <laughs> yeah, I'm still. I'm realizing that chat is able to, like, as long as they just vote for. If they, let me put it, there's like a flow chart. If you need to guess the top answers, you just pick the toppest answer you voted for that has not yet been revealed. If you're going for number four, you just pick whatever you put in number four, unless your what you put in number four is not, is not um, or has already been revealed. We have to collude though. You don't though, like, because it's based on the, the pooled answers. It's not just based on the left side. So Chad makes up like 98% of the sample. So as long as they just vote the same way they were voting to begin with, it's very difficult to beat that. I don't think Chad sees each other's answers. They don't have to. They just need to vote the way they did before. Mustard. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Fifth. All right. P dungeon. <laughs> Which one of these would be the worst of the remainder? P 
Personally, I think it's puppet fingers, but... We aren't actually one amorphous ma mass. I'm just saying if... Well, I mean, like, you have a much bigger advantage than, than the left side. That's all I'm saying. Vibrating toes. I, would, I wouldn't have gone there, but I respect it. It takes different... Uh, it takes the move don't work the world don't move to the beat of just one drum why doesn't chat get it i'm i'm just trying to explain the statistics of it there's 1100 people chat makes up 1090 of that this is literally like 99.9% .9%, okay you can also see chat The results of the vote are based on the 1,100 people in chat plus the 10 people on my team, okay? The 1,100 people in the audience, I should say. That creates a composite ranking, but the composite ranking is 0.1% influenced by my team, 99.9% .9 influenced by chat. So as long as everybody in chat, they don't need to vote for the same thing as each other, but as long as they vote for the same thing that they voted for in the original sample, ah, nicely done. then that should create the same results to make a plurality be the correct well, answer because they're also responsible for the sample to begin everywhere. with. She I came down in a bubble, Doug. You're entering the final round without a torch. Okay. Call me a softy, but here's a small gift. I wouldn't want you to miss the fun ahead. We're, we're so down four torches I'm to generous. one. It was four I torches to zero. I survey for last. And by best, I mean the least survivable. But this time, I'm asking you to rank five choices. We can do this. What would you absolutely do if you won one hundred million dollars okay. in the lottery? What would I absolutely do if I won one hundred million dollars in the lottery? Okay. Go back to work, disappear from society, smite your enemies, run for political office, fight crime, save an endangered species, buy an amusement park, give it all away. Okay. Let's just start with the ones that I would not do. I would not um, fight crime, run for political office, or smite my enemies. So I gotta rank the other five. First would probably be disappear from society. But it's weird, because I'm like, then second is like, go back to work. <laughs> of these, at least. Um, I, sure, save an endangered species. Um, buy an amusement park, give it all away. I don't know, I guess I'd rather smite my enemies than give it all away. I might fight, look, don't call me a cop, okay? I might fight crime. I wouldn't, like, stop petty shoplifting or something like that, but I might, I don't know, do the George Clooney thing and buy a satellite to spy on Bashir al-Assad or something like that. I guess it's none of my business. I mean, I wouldn't do the other four. I don't know, man. I don't know. I wouldn't give it all away. I don't even want to buy an amusement park. That's just a bad investment. And I don't even... I think it would be more like owning an amusement park than it would be like going to an amusement park. All right. I'll, look. I'm probably more likely to try to smite my enemies than to give it all away. So fair enough. I submit. This one, I have no idea. I actually have no clue. Your strategy is not guaranteed to work because of different voting methods. That, I will, I will plead ignorance. Info. I need more info before I say, am I the asshole? Doesn't chat vote the same way? Like, don't, don't they get eight rankings on their device and then they have to choose three, four, or five of them? We do? Okay, that's what I do too. Where are you getting your math PhD from? Sandwich University? All right, next cavern. Hope you like what I've done with the place. 
And here we are at the end. In this round, you'll need to rank from the bottom up. That's from eight to one, in case you're wondering. Yeah, yeah, eight to one. Okay. What is last place? Oh, that's true. Eighth will be really hard because nobody chooses eighth. Okay. They they lose they lose their chance on this one. They lose the advantage on this one. That makes sense. This is Sonic Youth. I personally IMO. I honestly feel like political office is gonna be lower than go back to work. I think people would rather work their existing job than run for office. I hate that so many of these are mutually exclusive. I think this is a fair guess, but I disagree. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, squad. We can do this. Okay, Skelly. I'm d look, I'm just one person, but I'm the only person who can really communicate with you right now. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's probably what I would have suggested. That's tough, man. That's tough. Good try, good try. Since you seem a bit stuck, let me just Last place was run for political office. Isn't that what they chose? No, they chose go back to work. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. But was it what the other what the other one chose give it all away. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So they could kill us on this one. Last place. I think it's give it all away. I hope they don't pick that. <laughs> I don't think it's fight crime. I think there's some people that would have put fight crime on the on their top five. IMO, it's either give it all away or go back to work. And I think it's give it all away. Well done. I, I can't be mad. I can't be mad, chat. You played it fair and square. Maybe you had a considerable advantage. Is this madman playing Jackbox alone? You know what? We're giving it a try, and I, and I think it actually is is kind of working. Great we just need to adjust some timer stuff. Promised, here's the way out. I'm not mad at my squad of ten, okay? Now, you know, of the ten, was I the only person to get an answer correct? I believe the answer and to that question is you. yes. Remember all the monsters you saw? That being That's said. Be <laughs> soon. Surprise! Hey, I, I, oh, sorry, sorry. So stole the picked one right. My mistake. My mistake. I, uh, oh, exit the game menu, please. I had an easy one. Mine was just name one of the top three varieties of French fry. That's easy. Okay, settings. One, one moment here. We, we can, we can make this better. I also feel like I should be the only person on my team, and I should play against the entirety of chat. Number of players that can join the game before people are added to the audience. Okay. Oh, password again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then timers must be much lower. If possible. Extended timers off. Motion sensitivity on. Okay. Okay. Then streamer mode. Apollo ignored. Oh, sorry. I was looking at settings. I was looking at the settings. What did I ignore? Hold on. Hold on. Sla hey, you know what you do? Slash user dumb dog has never been timed out in chat. Following since Christmas 2016. I would have played, but I thought they were doing old Jackie. I didn't know you had new Jackbox. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, okay, Apollo is talking about yesterday. He's talking about yesterday when I said, let's play Jackbox. 
Because here's the thing, Apollo, you should not feel like you missed out on that. All right, chat, here's your code, by the way. Need the room code? It's R W J A. Wow. And when you join, you'll automatically be in the audience because I'm, I'm the only person with the password to be the, uh, to be, uh, the gamer. But, um, I was baiting Apollo in the chat when I said, does anyone want to play Jackbox tomorrow? I was baiting because what I wanted to do was say when people got in and I, I was, I had a whole moment made, okay? I was going to be like, do you guys have any preference for what Jackbox game we play? And then I expected people to be like, oh, just a little bit of everything. And I was going to say, how about the new one then? And then they would have been like, what? You got access to the new one? But then instead, when I got into the call, I saw that Rob had tweeted, we're checking out the new Jackbox today. And I was like, how did this guy know that? <laughs> and it all got, I'm so fucked up. I'm sorry, I'm so fucked up. Okay, there we go. Streamer versus their audience. Confirmed. I'm not scared. God Streamer God. versus 990 spiders? What, what is this? Every room on the basement from it Repentance? My treasure filled web has captured some flies. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Laverne Cavern. Yes, Just I know. A lonely cave witch who helps hapless heroes dunk, through the dunk, dark and deadly dunk, doom dunk, they've stumbled dunk, into. Dunk, and dunk, do you have dunk, names? Dunk, 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 dunk. Hmm, Middle children? I, I suggested the name so the streamer. Okay, then. So let's it made me middle children. The absolute, the absolute most, most important, important things you look, things for, you look in for in an apartment. apartment. Okay, I mean, I can tell you my answer because, like, I make up less than, again, like 0.01% of the sample. It's less than, less than 0.09. Um... Modern appliances, huge closets, good light, animal friendly, close to work, strong water pressure, hardwood floor, washer dryer unit, in unit. Okay, easy choice for me. Modern appliances are nice, but don't really care that much. Huge closets, don't really care. Good light, couldn't care less. Animal friendly, very important. Close to work, I, I mean, I work from home, but still, it's, it's important. Strong water pressure, it's nice to have, but it's not a deal breaker. Hardwood floor, nice to have, but not a deal breaker. Washer dryer in unit, extremely important. And I, I think that's me right now. If I had to work outside of the home, I would still make animal friendly number one. Oh, we got to rank four. Okay. Modern appliances, huge closets, good light, water pressure, hardwood floor. I would take modern appliances fourth. I guess. I would rather have animal friendly number one. It's three? I had to rank four, man. I know that it sounds crazy. I don't know why I get to do four, but... Um, I turned off extended timers, by the way. This is just where it is. But I, I, I mean, what am I gonna do with um, if it's not animal friendly, right? Like, I, I'd rather drive an extra 50 minutes to Time's work than throw my cats in the garbage can. That being said, I guess I don't really care if it's animal friendly. I guess I would just move them in anyway, and if then, if let them sue me if they want to waste their life. Twelve hundred people. Good God. All you need to do is pick any one of the Yeah, yeah. I do wish well, I don't know, maybe it's good that it goes top three, two, three, four, and then eight to one. Okay. Cause I was gonna say it would be nice if like the deck was randomized, so sometimes you had to guess like number six, but I guess that would be kind of annoying sometimes. Um Okay, most important thing. I'm going to take the obvious one close to work. Dear 
Free points. Honestly, free points. So you guys still have 90 seconds. I apologize. My And again, I don't let me tilt you. Because if you just vote on a representative sample, you should win easily. But uh, I think that people don't care that much in, in my chat about huge closets. I actually, I think that good light is actually worth zero as well. I just buy a lamp. Like the not lamp is literally eleven ninety nine at IKEA. Who cares? Wait, before we bought our house, like sometimes when we would go like apartment uh, hunting, you know, we'd go into the apartment and the the person showing it would be like, oh, it has a. A north facing window. We're like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I know the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So, like, I guess being north facing is good for temperature regulation, but like, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, it's fine. I've got curtains. Don't even worry about it. It settles in a final location. Suppose, hypothetically, you're a. A teenage girl from Sweden dreaming of silver screen portrait, and uh, for rhetor rhetor rhetorician's sake, I, I'm a teenage bride with a baby inside getting high on information. Then it would follow naturally that it's understood that Hollywood sells Californication. Washer dryer in unit. That, it's that's good. That's a good answer. Um, now you put me in a in a tight spot here because I do think that for me it's animal friendly. Um, I think that closets are not relevant. I think appliances would be next. For me, it's animal friendly, and then it, then it would be appliances. So I'm not gonna belabor the point. Tragic. That hurts. That hurts. That was fourth. Really, I was making a a, a side bet there, and and the side bet is that enough people in chat owned pets for that to be relevant. That doesn't mean Chad hates animals. If you don't own pets, then you look at this and you say animal friendly is like last for me because I don't care. But for anybody who has pets, animal friendly must, it, by definition, it must be number one. Because you, you, either that or you're like, I'm choosing this awesome apartment and I guess I'm leaving the animal I dedicated my service to with my parents or something. Like, you, it, if you own a pet, it's got to be up there, man. Otherwise, you're kind of like a piece of shit, quite frankly. I love this song. This is Steely Dan. Okay, one second. Learn to work the saxophone. I play just what I feel, drink scotch whiskey all night long, and I behind It's actually terrible, it's not even close. I'm going to see Steely Dan in November. Jay, you're actually like my hero. I would still go see them, one of them did die. I just, I, I want you to know that as well, but just in case. My mom always needs someone to go with. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fair enough on modern appliances. I mean, again, that was up there for me. This cave has been Last was closet. I'm surprised hardwood floor got so disrespected, man. I, I it, It's a factor for me. I hate carpets. I think I hate carpets more than the average person, though. And this time you'll rank four choices instead of three. Did I really not rank three last time? Which is the worst place to forget to bring your ID to? <laughs> okay, GameStop. Worst place to forget to bring your ID to. Okay, well, the easy one is the airport. Because you're fucked. Um, and we're ranking four? I would feel like a... Okay, I mean, I'll just tell you my answers, okay? First is the airport. If you that's like your worst nightmare. You get to the airport, you didn't bring your passport. Hotel and car rental, I put it up there cuz I don't think that they will give you the uh, service if you don't have ID. So that's also really bad. 
Maybe not as bad as an airport, but... Then I put fourth as the bar, just because it's a very common situation. To get to the bar and be like, well, not now, because I don't get carded. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when I was like... 20? Even though I, I was bald, I would still get carded occasionally, especially if I was with friends. But, you know, you go to the bar and you're like, I'll have a beer, please. And they're like, do you have ID? And you're like, I forgot it. And then you're like, okay, I'll have a, I guess I'll have a Diet Coke then. But then you can just go home. It's not a big deal. I'm, I, I, I accept my answers here. Diet Coke at 20? So true. Only the elderly drink Diet Coke? Sorry, I'll have a full sugar root beer. I'm an adult. I'm a man in the prime of my life. A diet soda? Don't insult me. I'll have a I'll have a full calorie Sierra Mist, please. And I'll thank you not to insinuate anything. Time's up. Onward and upward. Well, for one team, that is. I think that I'm gonna clutch up here. For this round, you'll need to find the answers ranked two, three, and four. Do I get to go first? Yes. Easy mode. Car rental. You don't want number one. What the fuck? Better luck next time. I've never seen a skinny person drinking Diet Coke. So what? It's not like, it's not pseudo-ephedrine. You just drink it because it tastes good and you don't want to have uh, needless empty calories. It's not like you drink it and you're expecting it's going to like drain all the body fat away. It's a Donald Trump tweet? I thought that guy drank like 11 Diet Cokes a day. <laughs> I guess he does also have eyes, so I'll give him that one. That's why it's so funny? Okay, fair enough. I'm, I'm kind of surprised at the bank one. Everyone said, bar makes sense, don't get me wrong. I, that's easy, but um, I, what, everyone's saying bank. I'm, I don't. I can't remember the last time I had to provide ID at the bank. I'm still. I'm gonna say hotel, but yeah, they just need your bank card. Well, let's go. Let's go. We're still in there. I'd say casino. My hunch on casino is that... I'm gonna guess that 80% plus of chat has never been in a casino, either based on age or, like, just having an opposition to throwing their money away. I'm saying bank? I'm not saying bank doesn't get to be up there. Like, amusement park makes no sense. Lost and found, I had to think about it to even get, which means it's screwed. And then airport's probably number one. So it must be either bank or casino. But I still don't really understand bank, because I've never had to use my ID at the bank, I think. They should let you take a photo of your ID on the phone. And then just use that as your ID. Yippee. I'm a little surprised, but fair enough. They should not. I mean, they're scanning my QR code to prove that I got vaccinated. They can't just scan like a little digital ID. Let's take a peek at how we're doing. 
A little the juice, a little squeeze. A little juice, a little squeeze. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta be perfect on, and by we, I mean me specifically and me alone. What spells would you like to learn at a wizard's school? Erase memories, kill vermin. Fix small objects, create light, change object size. Mm, bling! The streamer's glasses come down, his tongue unravels out of his mouth like a ticker tape during the Great Depression. His eyes spin around like the reels of a slot machine until two hearts appear. Then they pop out in three-dimensional space and go whoop, steam comes out of his ears. You see the heart outline popping out of his chest until the streamer goes hmm. And then when he does this, his tongue rolls back in his mouth and the reels of his eyes spin back and become eyes. And then it goes na 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 Okay, sorry, sorry. Bring things to me. Unlock locks. Petrify opponents. All right. Um... I would say time is gone. Time to make some decisions. Fix small objects is an important one. Create light. Change object size. That would be changing object size would be sick, not just for the penile reason of making my enormous penis smaller. But um imagine if you were like you got like a burrito and you're like, what the heck? I thought it was gonna be like twenty percent bigger than this. You could just be like beep. Or what if you were like, oh, I thought it was going to be 20% smaller. I couldn't possibly eat that much. You could just be like, "Boo!" Bring things to me, sure. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I don't really want to erase memories. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's put it on the list. That'll be <laughs> sure, why not? Petrify opponents makes you a freaking psycho, though. I'm going to lose. Just to be clear. The final round has a twist. Rank from least popular, eighth. You could erase popular. movies from your First. memory and then watch them again. Yeah, but if I did that, how would I know that I'd want to watch the movie if I erased it? Like I could be like, "Oh man, Inception was so good." And then write down on like a piece of paper, "Inception is really good." And then erase it and then be like, "Ah, oh, let's watch Inception." But what if having an expectation to watch Inception, now that my expectations are higher, it leads me to not like it. Then I erase it from my memory, because I'm like, oh, I don't want that crappy movie in there. And then I watch it again, because I'm like, oh, Inception's out. I don't know what would be last, right? Like, I mean, I feel like Kill Vermin maybe is last. Well done, Chad. Nice Honestly, pick. well done. Um, I feel like a lot of these are really bad. Like, like create light. You can literally do with a phone. What if your phone's out of batteries? Uh, I'm not a psycho. I charge it every day because I'm an adult. But I do feel like you gotta be a bad person to pick Petrify, so I'm gonna stay alive. I'm gonna bet everything on Petrify. Let's go! Still in it. Petrify was my number one? My god. Unlock locks is pretty bad. Like, there... I don't know if I've ever had a situation where I, like, wanted to unlock a lock that I couldn't unlock just via a key. Like, the only situation I could think of is, like, you know, you left your key somewhere and now you need to get back in the house, but you can't. You would just be like, click. But, like, you can do that already if you have, like, a smart lock or something. We've invented magic spells to render a lot of these, like, irrelevant. Create light? I think it's gonna be higher, Chad. Never mind. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Um, I still think the next one's on lock locks, man. Let's go! <laughs> I don't have the collective power of 1,200 people all thinking together, but I've always thought of myself like a representative every man. Hello, Simvicta, by the way. Hello. The rest of these are literally... Like, Erase Memories is fucked, okay? But Fix Small Objects is just Google and a screwdriver. Change Object Size, that's got to be pretty close to number one. Bring Things to Me is, like, the ability to either locomote or alternatively, you can just get one of those, uh, those grabbers. You know what I mean? One of those grabbers? I don't, bring things to me doesn't seem like that great of a value. Let's go! Let's go! We out here. Okay, okay. Best spells to learn? I think that the fourth best spell to learn... is bring things to me. I mean change, I mean fix small objects. Right. Well done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay. David versus Goliath. I don't even know if I can win, cause like, you guys still have so many torches. I don't think I can actually beat you on the on the torches. But I can live. You cannot. <laughs> on the other hand, just just living till the end is kind of like surviving. I hurt my hand clapping so hard. I don't know, do you think erase memories is erasing your memories or other people's memories? That is true. Luke Skywalker did use bring things to me to escape the, the Wampa cave. On the other hand, I simply would not have gotten lost in the wilds of Hoth. Dude, change object size is number one. So I'm picking bring things to me as number two. Change object size has to be number one. This is actually horseshit. This is insane. You could have a little house and then be like, Bleep, and make it freaking huge and be like, there's my house. Instead, they're like, ooh, soda. Ooh, I don't want to go to the fridge. Here's my soda. You could turn like, you could have a little toy car and turn it into a big car. Ooh, I'll save myself a two second walk. Whatever, put me out of my misery, man. It would still be a toy. Okay, you could do it with a house, though. You could make a little house and then blow it up. Can you imagine how sick that would be? You go to the grocery store. You pick up all the stuff. After they scan it, you shrink it down until it's like this big. You just put it in your pocket. Then you carry all the groceries in like this. Put it on your kitchen counter. Go boob. And then it goes... I'm not surprised you got this one. Yeah, you could do some Ant-Man stuff, man. Bring things to me is... That should not be there. It should not be number one. Yeah, or I could go to the grocery store and make everything come into my cart by itself. You survived using the power of opinions. It was stupid. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's me, I'm dying. I hope you like damp rocks and no exits. That's me, uh, damp rocks and no exit. Yeah, I honestly think like with a large enough audience, it's not actually possible to defeat chat in this game. If if chat plays optimally, which is really just sensibly. Oops. Um take take me back to the pack menu for a second. Slash marker jackbox. End. Um, 
Yes. I, I do want to see, because, like, I, I thought maybe we could play against each other in... No, it requires... It says two to ten players, but, I mean, we just played that with one. I feel like you might be able to play Wheel of Enormous Proportions with, like, a streamer mode. I don't know. I, f I feel like, why wouldn't it work? Oh, but no, the, no, because the audience doesn't win. You could do, like, Trivia Murder Party against them, but you, you couldn't do it in Wheel of Enormous Proportions, I think. Because you guys don't get any space on the wheel. Okay, well, that's just going to let you join the game. Oh, no, you know what? I don't think it will let you join the game. Because it, it's password protected. Suckers. Uh, one of eight players joined. One player needed a star. All right. No, I, I would, I would sin, but I'm going to pivot to something else. I don't know what it is yet, but I, I was hoping there was a little bit more like ping pong style, like where you can make the table pop up and play against yourself. Now I got to figure out what the heck I'm going to do so I'm not going to play uh, WarioWare. <laughs> it's not a wow, it's just I'm, I'm pivoting, I'm pivoting. Um, what I am going to do first, though, I got to go to the bathroom. So I'll see you in uh, three minutes. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. In the meantime, I'll play like a little bit of, maybe a little bit of this song here, a little bit of this, a little bit of this song. Maybe you've heard of it. I will play the top recommended next video from YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I thought like what if we play some um what if we play some Mario Maker, man? I don't know what to play. Let's play some Mario Maker. No, I'm not gonna play Fall Guys. Come on, man. 